boy Chevy Box Rider here with another update. It is October 4th, and we are going to check on the C10 again. C10 should have been done. He told me the end of July, the end of August, and all this still ain't done. So we about to try to get some understanding of literally what is going on with Gene Gray. Because he's not painting it. All he was doing was welding. And he's just about to see what's going on, man. Because I'm tired of waiting. I am literally tired of waiting. So, we are going to check and see what is going on. So, let me get the camera turned around. And we about to check. But you ain't see no rust or nothing up, up underneath her, huh? Nah, it's, it's pretty solid. Pretty much, once that's done, that's about it. As far as anything like that. Yeah. That's the only thing that's solid over here, huh? Yeah. You gotta use a bigger hammer. <laughs> Still sitting, same spot. Nothing's been done. But my bushings. Uh, yep, yeah, as you can see, I do got new bushings. Oh, no problem. What's up, D? What's up? All right, YouTube. So, got the paperwork on my truck. And I'm kind of pissed. So we're going to go through the breakdown of what all they did with the truck. So I'm going to turn it around so y'all can see it right along with me. All right, people. As you see, 315 says removing parts from the firewall. Discuss firewall mods. Da, 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 da. Charge me $360. 
So that was for removing the steering column, the brake booster, windshield wiper motor, all that good stuff. 365. So let's keep that total in hand. That was on 315. Each one of these papers is consists of a week worth of work done. So that's just week one. Nothing on the back. Okay. On 412. Cause they told me they only have three weeks worth of work done on my truck, but look what month it is. So here we go. Now, as a 412, here we go. Replace passenger side, um, read bedside, remove rear bumper, one bumper bracket was welded on. New replacement panel has no tail light brackets, had to cut off old ones and weld on new ones. Pull lower bed to line up with the new panel. Finish up tail light bracket and finish test fitting new panel to bedside aftermarket tail light does not fit right or either side need feedback from D on hold for now. Bullshit. Cause as soon as I brought them in, talked to him. Next day came back, talked to him cause I delivered something else. He ain't say nothing. But here comes the pencil whip. All right, so a total of nine hours at $60 rate. That's not even my rate, but we're going to roll with it. So for nine hours, charge me $540. Then sales tax, $3780. $577.80. Plus $385.20. But why I don't have sales tax over here? Oh, yeah, I do. $25. Okay. $25. All right. Let's see anything on the back. Nope. And that was $412 from $315. A whole month later. Ain't that some shit? All right. Then $423. Received brake booster for firewall. Standard mock up of parts for Mize. Received rail light uh receive rail lights i don't know what he mean by that um discuss build with owner so it took him 2.8 hours with receiving parts to start up a mock-up really get bed past your side rear ready to weld new panel on two hours 5.75 finish fit and trim start spot welding finish welding quarter panel start working on custom roll pan for rear of truck bed five hours and five minutes or something i, I ain't understanding these hours roll pan is on bed tailgate does not want to line up with bed size to tell tailgate cover off to weld up holes which i did not tell you to do that so i won't be paying for that uh, tried one more time to line up tailgate, prepare, preparing to put new body and bed bushings on. Boy, the pencil whipping. Put cab bushings in, realign added shims, clean all hardware to use again, adjusting both bolts to level cab with bed. Back on the welding roll pin on both sides. Get past your side bed side tailgate to line up correctly. Continue working on truck bed. And here we go. And that's the breakdown now. Fifteen ninety-eight fifty-eight. All right, and that was four twenty-three. Boom. Here we go again. Nine twenty-seven eighteen. Welded up thirty-eight holes in bedside grinding. Charging me. $269.64 but my truck is still not done so I mean like I say guys this this shit is getting annoying it really is and I'm trying to be patient I'm trying but I don't know how much more patient I could be but it's down there I'm not paying a dime till it's finished yeah I'm sweating I'm about to go go to work and I ain't feel like having the car running because my pipe's too loud. Didn't want to drown it out. But um, I don't know, guys. I mean, now I feel like Jean Grey is doing a prison bid and no telling when she's going to get out. 
So right now, I think when I added that up, I was at like twenty, twenty seven hundred dollars, not including what nineteen hundred that I did with Billy on the rocker panel, the rocker panels, cab corners, and floor pan. So I do got a solid truck, but I'm ready to get to working on it. So that's what's going on with the C10. I just wanted to, uh, you know what I'm saying, let you know what was going on with it and try to figure out what's going to be next. So this your boy, Chevy Box Rider.